Since you guys love my video about the Minecraft mob vote so much, I figured why not compile a tier list together so we can see all the mobs we've missed out on over the years, and also the ones that we haven't missed out on. I'm not going to include the mobs that were in the Minecraft biome update because allegedly we're getting all those in the future, and we didn't vote on the mobs, we voted on the biomes, so those are not going to be in this, but every other mob should be in here. Let me know if I missed any. I'm pretty sure I got them all, though. First up, the Allay. So you give it an item, it goes and picks up more items. I would say solid, solid A tier. Yeah, I would say A tier. It's useful for things like picking up saplings and stuff, maybe. I don't think there's really any like late game uses for it or anything, but I think it's a solid A tier. It's really cute. It flies around. I like it a lot. And it dances with the note blocks. I like it. Armadillo, brand new for the 2023 mob vote. We're gonna put it in S tier for the pure reason we finally get dog armor if this is voted in. Wolf armor is something that I've always wanted, so I really hope that even if the armadillo isn't voted in, we can eventually get wolf armor somehow. Copper golem, I would say is also A tier. I'm not sure if it's quite as good as ZLA, but I'm also not sure. I don't know a bunch about redstone, but I like the idea of having a much simpler way to do randomness, because I know you can do like redstone circuits for it, but to just have a more clear way of how to do random circuits for a more newbie player without having to look up like 10 tutorials. I think that's great, and also it's really cute once again, and it oxidizes over time. I love that. Next up, we got the crab. Another S tier. I love crabs. Crab rave is my jam. And they say that you'll be able to build from farther away with the crab claw. We don't know how much farther. If it's a significant amount, that is going to be amazing for people who love building and survival. And it's just going to make everyone's lives a bunch easier. The glare. I like the idea. I just, it's not very practical. Basically, what the glare does is it moves to dark areas and then according to the trailer gets grumpy if it's in an area that monsters can spawn. So it goes to the darkest nearby area and basically lets you know if monsters can spawn there. And I like the idea, it's just not very practical. So I'm gonna go C tier. I, th I think the design's pretty cool and everything, but we gotta make room for the B tiers, A tiers, S tiers. Now the Great Hunger, once again, I like the idea. I love the thought of playing Minecraft at 3 a.m. and then getting absolutely attacked by this thing, but the design is really bad. I don't like it. And also, I'm pretty sure it could, like, steal your stuff, which I'm not a fan of. Iceologer. This was a rough year for the mob vote. We had the Iceologer, the Flower Cow, and the Glow Squid. I'm gonna put the Iceologer at a B. It was good for what it was competing against. I think it would be cool. I would love to have it in the game. That being said, I don't think it quite compares to the Alay and the Copper Golem, just off of maybe design, I guess. I don't know, something's not there for me. Um, same with the Moo Bloom, I think it was called. Um, Yellow Cow has flowers on it, very similar to a Mushroom. I think that's a really cool idea. Next up, the, what is it called? The Wildfire? is what Wikipedia says. I forget if that's the actual name. Correct me if I'm wrong. I love this idea. Having a Blaze boss, because personally, I feel like Blazes are a little too easy, but if you had a Blaze boss that spawns these in, that would be so cool. And it has the shields and everything to protect it. I feel like it would be a really fun mini boss. It's definitely an S tier for me. The Barnacle? Mmm... I like the idea, not a fan of the design really. Also, I feel like it could just be annoying, just like another mob from that year's vote. I don't have too much to say about it, I like it, it's fine, B tier. Penguins? Okay, I want to put it S tier, but I feel like I need to, to, to not spam everything in S tier, so I'm gonna put it at A tier for the reason I love penguins, I love the idea of penguins, it would be so cool to have them, but when you compare it to the armadillo and the crab, the penguin is a clear loser in terms of what it brings to the table. Basically, the penguin makes your boat go faster, which is cool, but we also don't know how much faster. I'm gonna leave it at A tier. Subjective change depending on how fast the boats are going. If we're going like 100 miles an hour, you know, I think it could go to A tier. Phantom, I remember when I was a young child, I was like, oh my gosh, the Phantom. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. No. They said if you didn't sleep for many nights, it was gonna chase you. Three Minecraft nights is not a lot. I like the idea if it's like been like maybe like 10 nights or something and then it comes after you but the fact that I go mining in a cave and I come out and I have five of these guys swirling around me they're not that fun they're just annoying you hit them with your sword a couple times and they die and they drop something that's been deemed absolutely useless because of mending so it's a D tier for me next up we got the rascal 
hey that's me we gotta put the rascal where it belongs you know what i mean no for real though i think i think this one might be a little bit of a personal thing i like the idea of the rascal i think it'd be a fun little in-game event every once in a while to see the rascal in a cave and every once in a while be rewarded because we don't know exactly what the rascal is gonna give it could have given some cool stuff sadly it didn't win so we'll never see it <laughs> but in my personal opinion not bias at all i'm gonna put it bottom of s tier most of these just so you know are not categorized in a specific order penguin i feel like could go s rascal i feel like could go a next up we got the sniffer i like it i like the idea we're gonna put it in a tier um i really don't like the design of the sniffer at all i i see what they were going with i just don't think it was executed very well and for that reason i'm out I do like how it brings new plants and everything. Having a mob that finds you special seeds that you can only get by using that mob. I think that's a really cool idea. Next up, we got a couple losers. Uh, the Tough Golem, I think is what it was called. I didn't really understand. The trailer for this literally just says it picks up items and walks around with them. I guess it's a little bit cute. I don't know. Compared to the copper golem, though, I think it's a good D tier. Same with the glow squid. I think the glow squid would be really cool if it actually glowed, but it doesn't. So it's going in D tier. Anywho, please do not destroy me in the comments. This is a personal tier list. I would love to hear your opinions opinions and let me know if there's anything i should change and let me know your guys' thoughts about uh the whole situation going on with the mob vote right now anywho i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time Bye bye